my grass flipping set up right here. So we'll start with the rod. That's a Dobbins Champion Extreme 795 flip. So what 795 is, it's a seven foot nine inch five power rod. It's super light, super balanced, and uh, it gets the job done. It's got a light tip, so when you, they eat it, they're not feeling your rod, but it's, it loads up quick, and it's got a ton of horsepower to get them out of that stuff. Um, with this rod, the 795, I'm flipping anything from, you know, half ounce typically to uh, a one ounce, which is where I like to be. Three quarter and one ounce is about my favorite for this one. Um, I just, you can use it for a heavier flipping, but I just like it on that, you know, in that range, half to an ounce. Um, after that, we'll go to the reel. High speed reel. This happens to be a Daiwa Tatula, bought off monsterfishandtackle.com. It's a, this is an eight to one. Um, if they just came out with a 10 to one, I will be purchasing that soon. I like the fastest reel you can get your hands on um, for flipping. Um, a lot of guys like, a, say you need a lower gear ratio because you need torque, but I don't think torque's the deal. You know, these, these reels have, you know, tons of drag power. They lock up. Um, and if you're pulling on them, you don't really need the real torque. You're gaining ground with the rod. And, and uh, realistically, if you need to pull on them any harder than what you can with an 8 to 1, a 9 to 1, a 10 to 1, um, you shouldn't be pulling on them because that means they're really lodged in there and they might have a tendency to rip the mouth of the fish and have it come off. Um, you just want to pin it up against the bottom of whatever you're flipping if you get stuck and, and just go in and get it. Um, so a high speed reel, um, I use 65 to 80 pound braided line for flipping. Um, I'd love to have your line. I don't think they're line shy. So 80 pound is not, not a big deal. Go ahead and flip that 80. Um, definitely. I don't recommend 50. 50 is, is pretty thin. And it, you know, if you really, if you really jam one up, it has a tendency to snap on the hook set or even snap as you're just holding it loaded. Um, I've had some issues with that. Um, so 65 to 80 pound braid. Next to the weight, Picasso Tungsten, my favorite. This is the new gunmetal finish, Picasso Tungsten. This is a one ounce weight. Um, the gun, the gunmetal finish does not chip. I've caught 50 fish on that one weight. I've been flipping it all year long. Not a tooth mark, not a scratch, not a chip, nothing. These things are tough and they're extremely affordable. I think they're the most affordable on the market right now. Uh, after that, I'll take this off actually. Get you a good look at that. That's a Gamagatsu super heavy cover flip hook right there. Um, I use a three and a four out hook primarily. Those are my go-to. Um, I think they fit about every bait and depending on what bait I'm flipping, I use a three or a four. Typically it's a four though for my heavier stuff or even larger baits. Um, that's just what I like. I think it's got just enough bite to where the plastic gets out of the way um, and enough hook to really keep them pegged and keep those big ones on. Um, so that's what I use. It's Gamagatsu, they make the sharpest, the best hooks on the market. I mean, that's, in my opinion, the only way to go. Um, but that hook's badass. So if you need a new flip or punch hook, that's the one right there. And then the always important, the bait. So on this setup right here, post spawn, I'm going out to the Delta on, on Sunday. And, uh, you know, they do, Delta fish always eat crawdads, but a lot of times they eat bluegill too. So I went with a bluegill color bait. This is the sprayed grass color um, and an Exxon Lures. Uh, that's a finesse muscle back craw. They make a muscle back and a finesse muscle back. Um, the finesse muscle back's just a hair smaller, obviously. I got, oh, I don't have any packages here. It's about three and a half, three and a quarter inches long. Very slender, very compact. Um, comes through grass really easy, in and out. You don't get hung up. Um, and it's easy to penetrate those, those canopies or whatever they're living under. And it's got great action um, and it catches them. So that's my grass flipping setup. Um, it's a great setup. I highly recommend all of this stuff. Um, I wouldn't put anything else against it. Next, I'm gonna go into my, my standard punching setup. Um, most of the time, this is what I'm punching with is this exact setup. So the rod again, this is a Dobbins Champion Extreme 805 flip. So it's a flip punch rod, 805, meaning it's an eight foot long, five power rod. So it's a little longer, um, still got plenty of horsepower, soft tip, extremely balanced. So if you can see it's balance point, it's right up, they're all right above the reel. Um, it's amazing. You can feel everything with it. Um, it's the real deal. I have a couple of these. Um, after that, we'll go to the reel. 
high speed reel. This is an old zillion that I've had for years, Daiwa zillion. I bought off Monster Fish and Tackle. This is a nine to one. Like I said, I like the fastest gear ratio reels I can get. Um, this is the fastest one that I have at nine to one. Picks up a ton of line in and out, never have a problem with torque, um, just gets the job done. Uh, 65 to 80 pound braid, as I spoke about. Uh, I think that's Seaguar braided line. Uh, it's good stuff so far, I like it. I've really, I've been testing it out and it seems to be good so far. Um, after that, once again, Picasso tungsten. So like I said, this is for my standard canopies, your run of the mill canopy, Hyacinth, Primrose, uh, you name it. I'm gonna be flipping that Picasso Lures tungsten. This is a one and a half ounce weight. So one and a half ounce seems to be the most versatile. It gets in and out of everything for the most part and uh, gets the job done for me. Um, obviously, we're gonna have a Gamagatsu super heavy cover uh, flipping hook. And on this one, uh, I like punch skirts. A lot of people don't, I do. I just think it adds a little extra flair. This one's been chewed up over the, uh, over the course of time because I've been catching fish on it. Um, but that's a Canopy Grenades Punch Skirt. Uh, they're local up here in uh, Northern California. It's a great company. Rich and Ann do a phenomenal job kicking this stuff out. Um, that you can buy them. I bought mine all from MonsterFishAndTackle.com or uh, Outdoor Pro Shop in Cotati. <coughs> in Cotati, which is the same company. It's just their online retailers, MonsterFishAndTackle.com. Um, so with this one, I like that muscle back craw or the finesse muscle back craw. Um, for this trip, I think I'm actually going to put on the Adrenaline Bug. Um, the fish seem a little bit, they're in a little bit of a funk right now. So I wanted something a little more subtle. Um, so I'm going to match that skirt um, with this Exxon Lures Adrenaline Bug. Beaver style bait. Um, soft plastic. Everything floats on it, which is really cool. So when you let it sit, that everything's going to stand straight up. This color, I don't know if you can see how awesome it is. But that's called Purple Shadow. And uh, it catches them. I've caught them everywhere. Here, Clear Lake, you, anywhere you flip. That's it's a great color. So... Um, one of my favorites in, in that, in this, uh, in this line is that purple shadow. Um, it's the real deal. Standard beaver style bait, about four inches long. It gets the job done. Um, after that, most people will stop there. You, you know, as far as you know, two rods, ounce and a half. You got an ounce. You can flip grass. You can flip mats. Um, a lot of times, especially since we had a, a warm winter this year, um, our mats are really thick. They didn't have a time, any chance to die off. So. My next rod up, a little bit heavier weight. So same rod, this is a Dobbins Champion Extreme 805 flip rod. Um, it is my hands down my favorite flip rod that they make and that I've ever felt. Um, eight to one gear ratio reel. Um, it's just the fastest I could get. And 65 to 80 pound braid, but on top, a little bit bigger weight. That is a two ounce Picasso tungsten uh, weight gunmetal finish um, just because a lot of these mats right now are super thick especially the primrose the state's been spraying all the hyacinth mats so with primrose is coming in thicker and thicker every year those thick primrose mats you got to have something big to get through them or you're just not it's just not going to happen so that two ounce goes through um, like butter on that thick stuff um, this one also has a skirt like i said canopy grenade skirt not a sponsor great company they make a great product and they're local so i love supporting local um, the hook the standard Kamagatsu super heavy cover flipping hook. This is a four rot because I'm going to pair that up um, with another Exxon Lures Adrenaline Bug. And uh, with this one, I think I'm going to go. I've been kind of torn. I don't know which. I like both colors, but I wanted to go something a little more bluegilly, something, you know, change it up from the standard crawdad. This one, it's like green pumpkin with like a more of a laminate lime almost, but it looks like a bluegill. And uh, that's the Adrenaline Bug. It's called Summer Craw. It's a pretty badass color. I really like it. Um, catches them. Or this is another one of my favorites. The Different. It's uh, it's called 309. That's the color from Exxon Lures. Green pumpkin on that side. It's got like a, a pearlescent white blue swirl on the back. And uh, kind of bluegilly again. So... Uh, those are the ones I like flipping, um, especially this time of year when those bluegill are up. Those bass are eating bluegill because the bluegill are just getting done spawning or on their beds now. Um, so those are two great options. Um, but those are all three of my setups right now uh, for, for flipping and punching. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to contact me on my social media, which is Ryan at Ryan Hall Fishing on pretty much every social media you can imagine, uh, even a TikTok for all the young kids. 
Um, so feel free to contact me, or if you want to, you can email me directly, which is ryanhallfishing at gmail.com. Like I said, any questions, feel free to get a hold of me, and I look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you.